Good evening, and welcome to The Astronomy Show. I'm your host and Nobel Prize Laureate, Professor Rupert Hall. Tonight's topic is the Hubble Space Telescope, the problems they encountered and the discoveries it has led to today. The Hubble Space Telescope was first envisioned in the late 1960s by the then National Aeronautics and Space Administration Chief Astronomer Nancy Roman. Named after the astronomer Edwin Hubble, the astronomer who discovered other galaxies, the telescope was not launched until April 24, 1990. By the Space Shuttle Discovery on mission STS-31. The launch went without a hitch, but as the telescope was fired up and took the photo, the results were not as expected. The images on your screen now are among the first taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. The scientists working on the project were baffled, and after some weeks, it was determined that the various particles of light were not coming together at the same place. This was called spherical apparition, and could only mean one thing. There was a problem with the mirror. The telescope had been designed in such a way that the light would bounce off two consecutive mirrors into the instruments and cameras. The company given the task of constructing the 2.4 metre wide mirror was a company called Perkin Elmer. This company had already made mirrors for spy cameras and was so confident they didn't allow NASA to monitor what they were doing. Perkin Elmer's test showed discrepancies yet they still allowed the mirror to be fitted to the, to the telescope and be sent up into space. After an inquiry, NASA discovered that some missing chips of paint had thrown off the laser guiding tool by 1.3 millimeters. This meant that they had polished the mirror 1 50th of the width of a human hair too flat. The mirror, however, had to be perfect and a new plan had to be devised. Scientists came up with the idea of the Corrective Optics Space Telescope Axial Replacement, or COSTAR for short. The instrument could fit it in a shoebox, and it was designed to be able to fold up and retract. It was a series of folding mirrors that were designed to re angle the light into the instruments and cameras correctly hopefully providing a much clearer image. On December the 2nd, 1993, after 20 months of training and 400 hours underwater, Stoney Musgrave and his crew boarded the Space Shuttle Endeavour on mission STS-61 to the Hubble Space Telescope. There were to be five spacewalks on this mission, the most ever attempted in a single mission. A number of other things were replaced on this mission, such as the gyroscopes and solar panels, but the most intricate was the installing of CoStar. Stony Musgrave could not see what he was doing, but instead had to feel for the correct placement. The instrument that had to be taken out was replaced with a new one that could accommodate CoStar but the new instrument only had one millimetre of clearance. Amazingly, all the spacewalks went perfectly. As Space Shuttle Endeavour touched down, Hubble was preparing to take its first image with CoStar installed. It had worked, and Hubble was now the telescope it had once promised to be. Today, Hubble is responsible for a number of scientific breakthroughs, that we will now outline. For example, in 2011, three scientists, Saul Perlmutter, Ryan P. Schmidt, and Adam G. Reisveer, were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of the accelerating expansion of the universe through observations of distant supernovae using Hubble. Hubble has also helped to map dark matter, discover two new moons of Pluto's, discover protoplanetary disks, show gamma-ray bursts, view comet 
Shoemaker Levy 9 collide with Jupiter, see dark energy, and locate black holes. And these are just a few of Hubble's great discoveries. Thank you for watching, and join us next week for an insight into the Orion spacecraft.